Raging Cajuns podcast. I'm your host, Kevin Wilson, alongside two very special guests. One goes by the name of Marcus Stroman, the other by the name of Jakeen and Gant. Gentlemen, how you doing? Doing good. How you doing? Man, it's good to see y'all today, man. Y'all look good, man. I like y'all shirts, man, representing KRVS on campus, man. Appreciate it. <laughs> I'll just jump right into it, man. Marcus, we'll start with you. When did basketball start for you, man? Uh, I'd say around six. Uh, I played soccer first, though, so uh, after my soccer. You was one of those. You were forced to play soccer to get into sports, yeah, and then you got my okay. footwork. Right, right, so. right, right. Then I fell into basketball. Okay. How about you, Jakina? Mine's about third or fourth grade. My mama really forced me. Well, she asked me if I wanted to play. I didn't I didn't really want to play sports at all, to be honest. So she asked me, and I liked it. So I kept playing. So. Were you already tall? Why would she force you? In the- I mean, she wasn't forcing me to play. I just wasn't playing no sports at the time, and my stepdad asked me if I wanted to play. He signed me up for basketball, so it was like a see if you like it, and if you if you don't, don't you can stop playing. So the secret is your mom was really trying to get you up out the house. Is what was really happening. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from, Jakina? Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. That's the tourist town, huh? Yes, sir. How about you? Columbia, South Carolina. Hey, another tourist stop, huh? Yeah. Okay, awesome, awesome. How'd you two meet? <laughs> AU. Uh, I don't know. I think my team played his team, and then my coach talked to his coach, and then that's when I joined their team. Mm, you were traded, or you you made a free agent move over? We both got both of we got him and the coach. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a package yeah. deal. Oh, okay. It was a package deal. <laughs> when I first asked the question, Jakini, you laughed. Why? Uh, good days. Yeah, good days. A lot of good days, memories and stuff like that. Just a lot. When you two played each other first, what what happened? What was the result of that? You remember that? I think his team won because like they had like actual bigs. My bigs was like six three, hmm. six two, and he had a six seven and a six eight. So how how old are we talking? How old are you? Shoot, this was like thir- thirteen, I think. It was like eighth grade. Yeah. Eighth grade. And you talk and so seventh grade six three wasn't tall enough to beat nah, his. Yeah, uh-uh. we had a bigger squad. How tall were you? In? I was six five. I was six five. I was six five in middle school. Mm, eating all the food out your mama. Huh? All the food. <laughs> <laughs> you two came together, and um, obviously you remembered his face immediately. What was it like? Was there chemistry off the bat or um, playing together? What was that like? Like basketball. Wise? Basketball. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like. It, it was easy. It wasn't no. It was just easy. I thought like I said, it was just easy playing with him. Same, same back way. Yeah, easy. You started immediately when you went over there, or what? What you mean? When you joined his his team, the AU squad. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No question, huh? No question. <laughs> When y'all start throwing lobs, man? When the when the lobs start in these games, man? Because y'all are getting nuts during the season. Eighth grade, so really. Yeah, eighth grade, like soon as I joined their team, well, my team, I never threw lobs, cause like I said, everybody's six two, six three. Mm-hmm. And when I got there, it was like, yo, I could throw it there, and they're going to get it. So that's when I fell in love with throwing lobs. When was your first dunk? Well, I was dunking at rec ball because it was eight and a half feet, so I was, I was dunking at rec. But mm-hmm. I ain't dunked till my ninth grade year, you know, in a real game. I didn't dunk in middle school. Oh, but ninth ninth grade yeah, you, ninth was grade. your first sanctioned dunk. Yeah. What about you? My first dunk dunk? Mm-hmm. My first dunk came in eighth grade. <laughs> really? Yeah, eighth grade. She was killing Jakeenan on that, huh? I mean, it wasn't in game, but that's when I first dunked in basketball. Ten foot. Yeah. And you... Uh, when have you ever caught a lob before? I caught one in high school. Yeah. Sanction. Yeah. <laughs> what year? I caught a little two hand. My junior year. It was like a little ram graze though. It wasn't no. It went in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little ram graze. We you know it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, both you guys obviously um, went to two separate uh, universities to start off your uh, collegiate careers. Um, in the SEC, though, uh, you started at South Carolina, correct? Mm-hmm. Why South Carolina? Uh, dream school growing up, being from there, hometown hero. So I was just like, that's my school I want to go to. Really? And it, and it was 15 minutes away from my house, so it was like, I can go home anytime. You remember the name Ronaldo Balkman? Uh, yeah, Dreads. Yep, yeah, yeah. He, uh, I actually went to high school with him. He's a year older than me, but yeah, I uh, went to high school with Ronaldo Balkman. Um, you chose Mizzou. Why is that? 
Uh, I mean, we had a we had a good freshman class coming through. We had a good coach with Frank Haith coming in, so we had like a a real good program going starting to be honest. So, but that all changed. So, yeah. Before we get into that, <laughs> <laughs> were both you guys stars in your high schools? Like you guys were it? Yes, yeah. sir. I mean, I think he won Mr. Georgia. Yeah, it was Mr. Georgia. I ain't win that though. Why you say it's so nonchalant? Like it ain't mean. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I didn't. It didn't really feel. I mean, I didn't really feel like. I felt like I was the Mr. George. I mean, I feel like I was a good player, but I mean, I don't know. It just felt weird. I don't know. So kind of on the uh, looking in yourself, you felt like. Did you feel like you didn't deserve it because you I mean, could have been I a better like, player? Yeah, I feel like I could have been a better really? player, but mm-hmm. it's. I mean, I still feel like I deserved it, but but yeah. So you go from being Mr. Georgia, mm-hmm. playing at Mizzou, which is highly touted. Folks mm-hmm. are looking at you. What was that feeling like that first time on the court? Well, it took me a little while to get on the court because mm-hmm. uh, the problems, but uh, it felt it felt good getting on the court. It was. My first game, it felt awesome, to be honest. I felt like I was walking on water, to yeah. be honest. But, but, yeah. Nerves? Did you sleep the night before? Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of mm-hmm. nerves. Nervous the whole day, just just ready, to be honest. Marcus, you played as a freshman, correct? You you were kind of thrusted into some minutes early. What was that like? Uh, my first game in college, I was nervous. I think my first game, I had seven turnovers. And like, one of them, like, I threw in the stands, like, a bad turn. Way off. Yeah, right, right, right. Like, that's how nervous I was. But after the game, I talked to uh, Coach Martin. He just told me, like, that's all freshmen, and he just kept building me up from there. So when you say you're nervous, so what, especially point guard, man. So, like, could, could you even, was it like you couldn't even grasp where you were at the time? You were just kind of going through the motions? I mean, like he said, like, you walking on water, like, you just – you just shot really like it just, it's just it's a, it's a lot going feeling, on like, SEC yeah your whole life you like yo like I want to play college basketball and then me for me myself it was my dream school and playing in front of my people was the first game I'm like oh no nah, this ain't true hmm. Cause Jakini, you could hide a little bit. Yeah, yeah you know, you can, let me set the screen. Let me. Oh, I got tripped going to the. You know that sort of stuff. But you, that ball in your hands, and all the teammates are looking at you. Everybody see it. Yeah. How were your teammates after the seven turnover? Oh, that was great. Uh, my freshman year, I had a senior point guard, and uh, he just talked to me after the game. And it's, that's really what it was. You remember your worst game at Mizzou? <sighs> I mean. Uh, Mm, wait a minute. He didn't even play. He didn't even play. He was sick. Yeah, I was so uh, I mean, like, what was there a guy that was just like giving you? Oh my the gosh! Whole when we played Kentucky, I had to guard. Well, I mean, Willie. I had to guard Willie, Willie, uh, Carl Towns, Carl Towns. Uh, so Willie Collie Stein. Yeah, Carl Anthony Towns. Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, oh, Trey Lyles was there. Trey Lyles. Yeah. They all just rotating in with elbows. All that. That's you don't get no repeat. Nothing. Yeah. Got to put back in there, but they ain't made no noise for my little put back. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> so, I mean, that was my tough game playing against pros, to be honest. And, I mean, did you get to line up against Kentucky as yeah. well? Who, who, who gave you work out there? Uh, I had a guard. Honestly, Tyler used this. Like, oh, uh, I remember like, my sophomore year, my sophomore year, he stood in front of our student section and said, "This is my house." And Stop. that's when I was like, "Oh, you got it." <laughs> basically, <laughs> basically. Well, if you don't do that, yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Cause like, I think he had like, cause Kyler Perry got kicked out the first 30 seconds of the game, and Tyler Eulis called every play. He called every play. So I was like, "Yeah, he a pro." Learned a lot that game. I was like, "Yeah, he a pro." How much did he drop on you? Remember? Not on me personally, but I think he had like 21, like 10. But just the control yeah, yeah, yeah. was different. What you uh, when you were playing against the Cats and mm-hmm. Willie Collie Stein, did you know? Okay, they they're jumping to the next level. Yeah, yeah, I knew that. It was that. immediate. Yeah, it was immediately. <laughs> I thought I caught the first elbow. <laughs> so yeah, I felt so small. I felt little one today. Right. One ninety five and they battling. Um, Marcus, starting with you. Um, 
obviously both of you guys are at the University of Louisiana at this point in time. Why did you uh, decide to transfer out of South Carolina? Uh, Your dream school. It's, I mean, it's, it's a lot of factors. Uh, my, my freshman year, I got sick towards the end. And then my sophomore year, I wasn't playing as much. So I was like, uh, it's, it's better off to go for a fresh start. Really? Yeah. Why, why Louisiana? Uh, for one, he came. We talked. He said he would transfer, and I said I would transfer. So once again, we we're trying to do this package deals again. And he said he was coming here, and then I AU coach called Coach Marlin, and then it's history after that. Why'd you step away from Mizzou? Uh, wanted a better situation for myself, just to play basketball and and not just be penalized after everything I do on the court and just. Just a new start, like he said, a new start, and just so I could play more, and time was cutting down, so I had to mm. get a little bit of time back so I could play, so I think it was the best decision to move on. Now, Marcus said he, you know, kind of followed your lead there. Why'd you choose the University of Louisiana? Because, uh, well, the day I chose, I was actually with Jay. Jay Wright, we, I was at his brother's house. We was all talking. It was almost August, really. School was almost finna start. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I was panicking because I, I didn't really talk to no schools or anything like that or went on no visit to, to go to any other school. Nobody really was was trying to help me, to be honest. Oh, so you were already in the transfer portal yeah, with nowhere to go. Yeah, with nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. So I was talking to Jay, and he was right there. He was like, you, you could come to my school, and uh, I could show you this, and you could just – we not gonna play together, but I can show you the ropes and what's going on. You would like it out here, and basically, different. yeah, different and all that other stuff. So I followed his role. We called Marlon, called him that day, and got it on, got it on track. And I tried to come for a visit, but it flooded that day. But really, 2016. That uh, yeah, in August. That, wow. It had flooded the day I was supposed to visit the school, but when I was I was going I was gonna go, but. Murph had messed up my tickets anyway, so my name was messed up. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't even get on the flight anyway. Right, right, but right. it was flooded anyway, so that's part of God anyway. So, mm -hmm. wow. Um, so <laughs> you guys converse. Mm -hmm. Jakeenan's making this move. What was that conversation like between you two? Basically, think about how we did on the AAU circuit. That's all it was. I was like, we could, yeah. we could win. How special that was. Were you guys still in contact uh, frequently while you South Carolina and Mizzou? No, uh, not really. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. So, it's all, like, spurts, but it wasn't, like, no texting, like, every day or nothing like that. So y'all just it y'all just so happened to both want to find new places mm -hmm. at the exact same time. That's how it happened. For real. That's insane. It happened fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you get the news that he's looking to get out and Louisiana's a spot, and you're like, oh, okay. No, nah, it may have something like that. It was like <laughs> it was something it was like, like that. my AU. I was telling him I was gonna go to the school with Jay, and he was like, Marcus transferring too. I was like, for real, I didn't even know that. And he gave me Marcus number, and I was I texted him. Where you going, him. bro? I was, yeah, I don't know neither yet, bro. That's all I have But I was like, bro, we could really win. Though. Awesome. What was you? Uh, you guys both get on campus roughly the same time, or? Nah, he got here before me. Like when he knew he was coming, I didn't know till that Friday, and school started that Monday. Mm -hmm. So I got here that Sunday, and I think he already been here. Okay. So when I sent him, I was like, oh, what up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> Y'all both have been in the weight room a little bit, looking a little different, uh, facial hair is in. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, so that's good. Uh, experience when you first touch down on campus, what's the vibe like? Are you kind of, because this, this isn't Mizzou, this isn't South Carolina? Well, me like, personally, I was ready to go home. I was like, man, nah, this ain't for me. It's hot. It's... Oh, yeah, it was hot. It's hot. Like, we ain't even walk out of Legacy yet. Sweating. It's sweating. Got to change shirts, go to class. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm ready to go home. I ain't playing this year. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> You're ready to hang it up yeah. immediately, huh? I'm ready yeah. to go home. A lot of stuff was different. Like what else? What else is different? Food. Food. Food is different. For me personally, not seeing my peoples. Mm. So I'm like, man, I don't know nobody here. Time, time for me to go, basically. How serious did you take that uh, mental threat of uh, time to go home? 
How close were you? I wasn't that close, but it felt like it. Like every weekend, like I just in my room, be like, man. As soon, as soon as I came, like I ain't have my game, my TV, or nothing. So I'm, I'm oh, in the room. you just straight came. Yeah, man. I was no. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the room by myself. Like, man, I don't know the, know the players yet. So I'm like, man, this is it, bro. Like, I'm out. But it was good though. You had those same thoughts, Jakeen, or you were kind of you were just happy to have a fresh start because you had already left home. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I had left, but I still had stuff in Missouri too. So I still, I was. He had Jay though, like yeah, I he had was Jay. So he's so like, all right, yeah. So I, already, I was already good. Yeah. He already showed me with everything. He helped me settle in. So it was, it was cool. Let me just assume and tell me if I'm wrong. Um, I would think that also another tough part about that move would be you know that you have to wait a whole yeah. year to play again. How tough was that? Tough. Like uh, Coach Marlon said, some days, some days we came in not focused because we know we ain't playing. So it's like, all right, I, I'll take the day off. I ain't playing. But we had to learn to, like, get that out of our head because, like, that year we had off was a really important year for us to get better, like, on the court and off the court. How did how, how you take it, Jakeena? So anyway, I mean, we just we got better because we uh, competed with that first group, even though they cheated in practice. But we we competed with that first group every every day, talking to them, trying to get them better, and just that's our game basically. In practice, just was playing against them, and we had like pickup games. We'd play on the weekend when they go out of town and stuff. We had like pickup games and stuff. So that's what we'll be doing. Playing pickup, Marcus. How exciting was it though? Even though you're not playing, when you're watching Sun Belt competition, was there some menu that was like, "Oh, when I get in"? I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, uh, I picked off from what Jay Wright was doing, and I seen how he was controlling the game and scoring and defending. I was like, "Yo, I see some what he could do, and that's something that I could do." So that's the main thing. You see the bigs in there. There is no Carl Anthony Towns. Yeah. There's no Willie Cauley. There's some space. <laughs> got some you a little space. excited watching. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> watching some games, home games. Got motivated a lot, really. And just seeing some openings with me and him, throw alleys and stuff. And just stuff we used to do, just getting back to it and just loving the game and just having fun. Your official junior years. You guys are actually on the court now. Did you know that you guys would be kind of pushed into semi-leadership positions in your first year playing? Well, I know I did because, like, being a point guard, I mean, that's just the obvious. Everybody just think, you're the point guard, you got to be a leader. But so, I mean, I kind of knew that. But uh, with Bryce, Frank, and Stoke coming back, I knew, like, they would be the, the main leaders, I guess you could say. So I was just trying to follow their lead and see what I could help at, basically. Jakina, let me read some stuff off for you. 2018 Sun Belt Conference Newcomer of the Year. 2018 Sun Belt Conference Defensive Player of the Year. 2018 Second Team NABC All District. Riley Wallace All America Team. You went nuts <laughs> in that season. What was the uh, attributing motivation to that? I mean, I to be honest, I really played played my role last year. I played. I played. I mean, whenever we got beat on the dribble, I'd be there to block the shots and just. I, I couldn't. I mean, I tried to rebound more, but I couldn't because Bryce, Bryce get all, he right. get all the rebounds. <laughs> so I mean, I let him get. I just box out and just, just play my role and just, just be a, a good teammate and just let everybody flow, let the offense flow, let the seniors play. I mean, and just play play for the seniors. To be honest, that's what. What I did last year, I felt like I did as a player. I just played, came and played a role and, and not do too much and get carried away because I ain't played last year and try to do over shots and just do over, do do too much. So I feel like I played my role. Was there a moment in that uh, junior year where the game <coughs> slowed down for you and you really started cooking? For me personally, I mean, like you said, I was just playing my role. That was it. There's a, there was a ton of we, talent. Yeah. That's really all we had to do. If I had mm. to shoot, I'd shoot it, but we had Frank after 17. I was yeah, at 15. We had three players in the first team, second team, third team, so was, I'm just going to do what I got to do, guard my man, and keep winning games. What's it like playing for Coach Bob Marlin? Chill, good dude, going to let you play, but 
just defend, rebound. That's his main thing, defend, yeah, rebound. defend rebound. And if you do those two things, you can be on the court. He ever scare you sometimes? Because he kind of... <laughs> Uh, but personally, I play for Frank Martin, so mm. Coach Martin ain't, ain't been doing too much scaring, but, <laughs> yeah. Bob's kind of got this demeanor that's kind of, you never know if his, I've never heard him yell, but I mm. could see someone being frightened if he did. Am I off on that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I guess, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, if he yelling, like, he'll, like, throw you off. Like, oh, snap. Yeah, like, he, he's, he's mad. Really, yeah. yeah, like, he's yeah. mad. He's mad now, so, like, everybody talk Yeah, get right. So, he, more, he more calm and talking to you instead of, like, more all, all the fussing. Yeah. You guys come in first year, immediate success, Sunbelt Conference champions. What was that feeling like to get those rings? Uh, me personally, it was good, but I just wanted to close that chapter. Basically, that's all it was to focus on this year. So once we got that ring, I was like, all right, we can stop bringing it last year now. Like, that's that's over with now. You enjoy the trip to Cuba? Yeah, I enjoy it. it was, <laughs> that was my, that was my first trip, I mean, over over some water, to be honest. I ain't never really could go to Hawaii when we was at Missouri. So that was my first trip. So, yeah, I had fun. Y'all eat good? What was the go-to meal out there? Yeah. Oh. No. I don't think we were eating. Well, Kel, according to Kel, watermelon and chicken it was <laughs> was the, the go-to. Go <laughs> yeah. Cuba, get food. It, they, they didn't have no, it wasn't no good food, but. That wasn't it, but the spinach was good, though. The spinach? No, the experience. Oh, the experience yeah. was good. Like, oh, the spinach, <laughs> Yeah, salsa and <laughs> all that. Cuban spinach? Um, we fast forward to the top of this season. Um, what were your expectations entering this year um, for yourself and for the team? Uh, personally, uh, me, uh, just come in and show that I could lead the team. Uh, I can score when needed. Uh, of course, everybody know my game is passing the ball, getting everybody involved. But uh, and also show I can defend at a high level and just keep winning ball games. How about you, Jakeen? How far did you think you could go this season? Uh, as a team, before the season started. Before, I mean, and you just you coming off the championship. Did you think you kind of clean house again, or? I think we was. I feel like we was going. I feel like we did what we was we doing. What we were supposed to be doing. I mean, at the beginning, we gonna struggle a little bit trying to find out who gonna play what role and who gonna score when, and just figuring out roles and who gonna score when and, and not getting frustrated with yourself and losing confidence. Just just trying to figure out the identity of the team and get our bond a little bit closer so we could play for each other and just. Win and have fun, to be honest. But. Now, now, entering this year was a little different. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much a clean slate with you two mm -hmm. at the top. What was that feeling like? Uh, it felt good to me personally, knowing that I'm looked at like, yo, like, this your team. So, like, I felt good because I haven't had this feeling since since high school. So, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, like, now you that guy again. So, like, show them what you could do when you in that role. To Kenan, you were, you are the big man now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, were there some nerves there, or were you ready for the challenge? Well, when when the league went down and, and we played played bad that first game at Arkansas State, and I felt like I didn't, I felt like I didn't play as as good as I could have, and so I felt like I had another level I could just tap into and, and just play even harder, and and I feel like I've been doing that and, and just trying to. Just play a little bit harder and just go at, just go at the rebound harder. To be honest, Malik Marchetti. It's a fluke injury. Um, out for the year. Uh, how hard was that moment for you guys? Tough. Like I said, uh, Malik been my roommate since I've been here. Like from day one. Like that's who. I talked to because me and him set out, so me and him playing the game together. So like it's just more than basketball for me personally because I seen what he been through at USC here, the off year we had, and like how much better he was getting into that injury. Like he had his career high both games, so I could see how high he was getting. And for that to happen, it was just it just it just hurt. For real, I knew that. That's that's crazy. See yeah, yeah, that's 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 crazy. That's... Yeah, I know um, 
interestingly enough, you know, Malik obviously still supporting in the ways he can, um, but the three-point shooting that he was lights out from, <laughs> somebody else has kind of started stepping from behind three-point range and shooting more threes. By the uh, you've been shooting, too. <laughs> you've been shooting, too. Both of y'all have actually been slowly <laughs> getting, yeah. up, getting around the arc. Why, why, why have y'all been so aggressive now shooting threes? Because early in the season, especially you, Jakini, yeah, you, you are not out there. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why so aggressive now? I mean, to be honest, I feel like, I mean, who else goes shoot them? I mean, not 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 in that way, but, I mean. Uh, in that way. <laughs> who else going to shoot them? Because Malik I mean, was knocking yeah, that. Who else going to shoot them? I mean, we know Say going to get his. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jess going to get his. PJ. But early in the year, PJ, I don't think PJ was playing that much, so. And confidence-wise, he wasn't. Yeah, so Say going to get his. Justin, so it's out of key. And me, so I'm like, key, I really, you shoot at me. So that's when he just started being more aggressive. You like it out there? I mean, yeah, it's open, so I mean, (laughs) yeah. Hand down. For real. So I'm trying to get better at shooting it and knocking down open shots so I can be more, so they won't leave me out there so I can make it more easier driving to the lane and opening up for my teammates and stuff like that. Marcus, there was a matchup you had um, this season. I can't remember the guy's name. Um, uh, The the, uh, guard from Little Rock. Uh, uh, the the young uh, uh the freshman? No, he's a. You talk light skin. He had like a little leg. Is oh, you you probably were talking about uh from Troy when he kept posting him up. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked like he had a few problems there. Um, With me? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Uh, what's the guy's name? No, it's not Troy. I, my phone's off. Um. Now he was good too. Now he's a one of the best. Uh, Var, 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 Varna, Varna, Bernardo, 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 yeah, yeah, Bernardo. He's, yeah, 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 yeah. But this is a guard. I'm pretty sure it's Little Rock. He's like a, I guess the close equivalent would be like Russell Westbrook. He's just a running up and down the floor with the leg sleeve. I yeah, 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 about. exactly. But you were running with him neck and neck, and I mean, I thought he was gonna give you problems because I seen film on him, but that game. I was like, I knew you could play defense, but I think you ended the game. I think you had like seven assists, maybe like four points, though. But you held him in check. Um, Do you kind of – is there a switch you kind of flip sometimes, knowing that you have to be a more defensive sharer than a scorer and sharer on Uh, certain nights? It's not a switch, but like once Malik got hurt, he was going the best player. So I was like, all right, so who else going to do it? I got to do it now, so uh, I just try to take on that role. What's the best part of Marcus Stroman's game, Jakina? He going to fight. That's one thing I know about Marcus. He going to fight. He going to fight. He going to compete. He going to... Throw you a lob? Throw me a lob. He going to get that assist. He going he gonna to do that. And when he when he don't, and when he mess up, he he know when he mess up. He, so he, he take that on. He put it on his shoulders. Hard too. He put it on his shoulders hard whenever he do mess up something. And he know he could have did something different. Best part of Jakeenan's game. The athletic. You know he gonna be there to block the shot. So if you get beat, he don't really. It's the foul because you know he gonna be the. Uh, it just it's all around game. He just an all around player. I know you mentioned um, we did a feature on you earlier for our coaches show, Marcus and. Uh, we're talking about your assist and um, you sharing the ball. You the top 15 in assist in the nation pretty much all season. But um, the uh, you mentioned that your family size kind of attributes to you being uh, so so used to sharing. What is it, five siblings you have? Uh, no, I got six. I'm oh, sorry to disrespect I you, Mark. Six. <laughs> uh, I'm accepting uh, Y'all shared a lot of stuff in there. I had no choice. <laughs> You got no choice, man. You just gotta share. Either you gonna share or you gonna fight for it. Man. So that's what it was. Jakina, take me back to um, the ESPN2 broadcast, Georgia State game. Huge crowd, red pandas coming. Um, crowd really showed up for that game. You were getting a ton of national attention, which you have been for most of the season, but this one. It's that was the Jakeenan show was pretty much what the broadcast made it. Um, what was the electricity like in the Cajun Dome that night? It felt like it felt like it, to be honest, it felt like 
uh, uh, Southern Stampede versus Georgia State. Not Georgia State, but Georgia Stars AAU game, a rival game, basically, because some people, some of them on the um, Georgia State play for Georgia Stars. Really? Yeah. Um, so some familiar faces there. Too. Yeah. Okay. So I feel like with me and. What's his name? Demarcus. Not Demarcus. Uh, what's the um, thing? Not Big Levy. Mitchell. Mitchell. Me and Devin was shooting little threes back to back to back. Mm -hmm. Me and him was going at it. I feel like we was back at Georgia Star back in AAU days, to be honest. So I feel, I, I mean, it felt... It felt good to be honest. It was it was, an, it was a good game. I feel it was a real good game. Marcus, you guys in that game were not expected to win. I mean, it was yeah. I mean, the Georgia State had the two stars and the you know the one that's possibly going to the NBA that they're mm -hmm. talking about. I mean, you guys were not favorites, and you guys had just came off a game where that a, a big loss um, with a lot of freshmen playing. Um, what was the what was the feeling like going into that that prime time game? Uh, it was good for me. Uh, ESPN two, we ain't do that since South Carolina, Missouri. So it's like, mm. Keith, it's your chance. Your name already here. So like, how you, how you gonna handle it? And he came out to his thing. And once he found out, it was like the whole gym got quiet. Like, ah, oh, Keith, Keith found out. So it's like, here we go. Here we go. Like, mm. who gonna step up? And I just when he was walking out, I said, Keith, we got you. Like, we still gonna win this game. And that's why, for the last four minutes, I went extra hard because I, I told him, like, yo, we still going to win. Y'all like the black jerseys? Yeah. I mean, they're a little bit too big, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jakeen, and uh, I, I flew past it, but uh, take me to that uh, that Little Rock game. Mm -hmm. um, you dropped 45 at yeah. home. It's, you couldn't miss. I mean, it, it was, that was that was pretty crazy. What, what was it like that night? It was just... It was just going in. I mean, that's. I mean, it just was going in, and my teammates kept finding me. I mean, I wasn't really forcing it. I was just going with the flow, and whatever they gave me, I was just, just executing. To be honest, just being aggressive. Marcus, I know this doesn't get as much publicity, but as a point guard, you got to keep everybody involved. But you got one guy who's going ballistic. When he's doing that, even though some other people may be open, what uh, what is your mindset like? I'm going to keep feeding the hot hand yeah. every time? Yeah, whoever well, hot, that's you get the ball. Like, yeah. he's he not selfish, so if said hot, he's going to be like, all right, give said the ball. So it's like our team, I feel like he's not selfish, so like everybody see you, like, kind of can't what's happening. So it's like keep giving it to him. Senior night is upon us. You guys uh, have found a home here, and uh, in just a few games, you guys have, would have played your last game here at the Cajun Dome. Um, I'll start with you, Marcus. Uh, what do you think that night's gonna gonna be like? You you gonna cry? Cause we gonna have the cameras and stuff. You can't. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry, but uh, it's just special. Uh, it's crazy that like I look back at it. It's been five years now that I've been out of high school, and this is my last home game in college. So it's like. It's a blessing, really. Shakita, what's that night gonna be like? I know we're uh, you and Marcus were talking beforehand. You're saying the mom's gonna be there, and yeah, my mom gonna be there. She's gonna sing the national anthem, so it's gonna be a little good night for me. I ain't gonna stand beside. I can't do that. <laughs> So but you you are going to cry. So I don't know. I ain't never nah, I ain't never broke down in front of nobody, <laughs> but it might be there might will be proof. We'll have the cameras might, there. You so know. I don't she might have some surprises for me, so I don't I don't know. Y'all excited about that? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. It's my first time, my people coming down here, so first time they ever came to Louisiana. So they they don't have their eyes big too. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Um, how mad would you guys be since I produce the games? Um, how mad would you guys be if we like keep playing over and over, y'all crying in the um, in the pregame? We still be cool after that, or we okay? All right, just checking. <laughs> how uh, Sun Belt tournaments upon us too. Um, how far can this team go this year? All the way. Oh yeah, all the way. What's all the way mean? It's better tournament. You make some noise. Yeah. What makes you so confident in that? Your your big time shooter went down. I mean, you got one guy. So let's say we just doubled you, Keenan. 
let everybody else shoot. We got, we got some fighters. We, we, got real we fighting. We fighting. Uh, take that approach and have fun with it. Mm. Fellas, I um, will end on this. Um, you guys both said you're graduating on time, which is awesome. Um, so this upcoming May, had a piece of paper in your hand. Um, best case scenario in your mind. I'll start with you, Jakina. Give me where this team ends up, and then tell me where Jakina Gant is a year from now. Uh, so we end up winning the whole, winning the Sun Belt Championship, going first round. And I'm in the league, the league next year, for real, to be honest. And then let's just say the Kings pick you up, and Willie Cauley Stein is like. <laughs> I mean, we just gonna have to fight it out in practice with <laughs> some. We gotta be Bench cool now. Nah. Huh? <laughs> yeah, we might be cool now nah, because we on the same team. But other than that, nah. Part of the times, I'm, I still gotta need my revenge. <laughs> Marcus, where does this team end, and where's Marcus Stroman a year from now? Like he said, uh, I mean, the whole sum up, and me personally, just getting paid to play basketball hmm. and still having fun with it. Marcus Stroman and Jakeen and Gant, dynamic duo for the men's basketball team. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.